Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. I am filming right at the start of a thunderstorm, so if you hear some rumbling in the background, that's all it is. It's actually looking kind of dark and scary outside. So we're gonna stay inside. Now before I get started with everything here, the Ryzen 3000 lineup of pricing is kind of all over the place right now based on availability, especially the 3900X. So I'll go ahead and leave Amazon links to the entire lineup down in the description so you can check current pricing. Because if you're watching this beyond the actual filming date, then the pricing may not be relevant whatsoever. So check those links in case you wanna actually see the current pricing. So obviously from the title of this video, we do finally at least seemingly have a leaked launch date for the 3950X. Now AMD did announce back in July when announcing the 3950X that it would be available in September and it looks like AMD is slated to just barely sneak the 3950X into that September window on September 30th. At least AMD will be fitting the 3950X into the September window if the Digitech online storefronts listing of the 3950X is currently to be believed. Now, of course, as of right now, we don't have an official launch day from AMD, but this would make a lot of sense if AMD is still trying to fit into that September window. Obviously, we haven't heard about any specific delays in just about two weeks out. I would expect to hear something official from AMD if they are in fact planning a launch on September 30th in about a week from now, which would give people about a week to lead up to the actual launch and get yourselves ready. But with all that said, there... Woof. But with all that being said, the 3900X, which is currently the flagship of the Ryzen 3000 lineup, is still very hard to come by in and of itself. Over two months after the launch of this processor, it's still pretty much unavailable on the major outlets. And even if it is available, it's going for far above MSRP. If you're trying to hit up eBay, for instance, expect to pay in the up 600s or lower 700s for this particular processor, with some of them even being sold recently for over $800 and that's used. So here's the current takeaway for anybody that's sort of tuning into the Ryzen 3950X launch. First off, it does still look like September is the target that AMD is shooting for, and it looks like at least based again on that Digitech online posting, we are good to go with a September 30th launch. The other major thing to keep in mind is that if you're hoping to get yourself a 3950X at launch, then you really need to be ready to go on September 30th and be in a position where you can kind of watch the online postings because I get the sense that there's probably not gonna be a huge stock in the first place and what is available will likely be gone very, very quickly just based on the demand of the 3900X. But of course, I wanna kick it off to you guys. What do you think about this launch being September 30th and do you plan on sitting, hitting that refresh button all morning on September 30th, hoping to snag yourself a 3950X? Let me know your thoughts on the launch and the likely availability in that description down below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, and comment. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.